I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. The principal therapy for treating men with metastatic prostate cancer has been hormone therapy, a treatment discovered back in the 1940s by Dr. Charles Huggins, who, who discovered that prostate cancer cells grow in response to the male sex hormone called testosterone. And he found that removing the testosterone from the body and by performing what's called an orchiectomy, in which the testicles are removed, that treatment was able to reduce symptoms for patients that had pain and help limit some of the other problems associated with the disease. That operation is relatively easy to administer. It takes about 30 minutes. It's done under an anesthetic. There's not many complications and patients recover very quickly. It is a permanent way to reduce the hormone level in the body. Uh, back in the 1980s, other ways of performing or achieving the same goal were developed in the form of medications which we call LH. RH agonists, or luteinizing hormone, releasing hormone agonists. It turns out that the testosterone that is produced in your testicles actually gets stimulated by chemicals that start in the brain. These drugs, these LHRH agonists, were developed and are able to stop the body from producing testosterone. It's a medical castration as opposed to a surgical castration. And studies have shown that it is equally effective for achieving the same goal. Whatever you get by doing the surgery, you, you can also achieve by using this medical management, this, or, this medical castration. And that treatment has been around for quite some time. Studies have shown that when you give men a choice, more men will choose to have the medical castration because they'd like to avoid the surgery and they'd like to avoid the psychological impact of having their testicles absent. As far as we can tell, those two treatments are equal. And those are the primary therapy for a man that has prostate cancer that has spread into the bones. Now there has been a debate and about when is the best time to administer the medical or surgical castration. Should we do it as soon as we discover the cancer is in the bones? even if a patient has no symptoms? Or should we hold it back and wait until men develop bone pain because the castration will reduce and, and lower the amount of pain that a patient has? This debate has continued to go on for some time. There is good scientific data that shows that if you do the treatment earlier, it can reduce the likelihood of developing other problems such as the bone pain, such as what's called a spinal cord compression, or blockage of the urinary tract, which can occur as the cancer is growing. So earlier therapy can achieve those benefits. There is less certainty whether early hormone therapy does improve survival. That debate continues on. And so I think a best approach for patients is to understand that if they're discovered with metastatic prostate cancer, discuss it with your doctor. If you want to be more aggressive, then start the hormone therapy earlier, even if there's no symptoms. If you want to be more conservative and delay facing the side effects of that therapy, then wait until you begin to develop some symptoms. So, Hormone therapy early or late is the primary therapy that we offer. And there are other ways to do this uh, that are available. I'll talk in another video about using combined hormone therapy, where we combine medical or surgical castration with medicine that will block the hormones coming from the adrenal gland. That will be explained in another video. Bottom line is, if you're diagnosed with metastatic prostate cancer, the first therapy is castration. Medical or surgical are equal, and it has the side effects of causing hot flashes, a decreased sex drive. It can cause some thinning of the bones over time, maybe one, two, or three years. It can also cause some weight gain, and there's some question whether men may have more problems with heart disease if they're taking hormone therapy. Still, it's a good way to manage the disease if you have faced that problem. 
More will be discussed about other treatment options in the ensuing videos. Thank you.